Hi friends! Today we're going to do my book haul and TBR takedown for the month of December. <laughs> If you are new here, the TBR Takedown is a game that I'm playing trying to get my physical unread TBR shelf down from a really high number down to a manageable, probably somewhere around 50. Bonus is that today is the first day of January and so I have done a full recount of all of my unread books so that I can match up the numbers because I inevitably always get the math wrong at some point during the year um because I'm bad at math so I will be giving you the number at the end of today's and then giving you the actual number which is a little higher than the number that I have but it is what it is at this point. Since this is December's takedown I'll go ahead and tell you we started out the year at 197 books. I've read 111 books this year but I can guarantee you the number's not under 100. It's not even close. Okay, let's talk about the books that we hold. First we have Mind the Gap, Dash and Lily by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. This is the third book in the Dash and Lily series and basically we're just following Dash and Lily who are two teenagers in New York. I forgot the name of New York. That was weird. Uh, two teenagers who live in New York. The first book, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, follows them, um, kind of leaving this book in places where they're daring each other to do things and to get the next clue and just kind of shows them kind of having a scavenger hunt across New York and during Christmas time, which makes it amazing. It's so Christmassy and wonderful. And I did really enjoy the second book, so I went ahead and picked up the third book as well. Next was War Maidens by Kelly Kuhn. This is the second book in the Grave Maidens duology. And this book, well, I can't tell you what this book is about, but I can tell you what the first book's about. So Grave Maidens follows a girl named Kamani who's lives in, I would say it's a similar to our world, but they do have some magics. And it is in a historical setting. Her father is this great healer and they had lived in the palace and had all of the wealth and prestige that comes with that but when her father was unable to heal someone in the royal family their family was cast out of the palace and forced to live amongst the hoi polloi and basically her little brother was taken from them um, to serve in the palace kind of as punishment for them losing a family member of the royal family and the book starts out with the king or the Lugal as he is known um, being ill and when the Lugal dies they are traditionally buried with three young women to serve him in the afterlife. Three young living women to serve him in the afterlife. So as the book starts Kamani's younger sister Nenea is chosen as one of these grave maidens and Kamani takes it upon herself to get into the palace and try to heal the Lugal in order to save her sister from having to become a grave maiden because if she can keep the king from dying then her sister will just be returned to her family and they will get some kind of prestige from that. So the book follows her trying to figure out why the king is sick, what's happening to him. Um, it's very politically intriguing. There's a lot of like backstabbing and a lot of things going on behind the scenes. Like I said, it's got a little bit of magic. It's got a really great romance. Um, I really enjoyed the first book and so I had an arc of the first book and read it, enjoyed it. Got an arc of the second book, read it, enjoyed it. We'll be talking about that a little bit later. And the final book that I picked up this month, I know only three books, imagine that, in December. The final book that I picked up this month was How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black. This is a set of novellas that take place in the Folk of the Air series. It follows Cardin from when he was younger and tells us more of his backstory and how he kind of became the person that he became. And it also has uh, the beginning and the, the first and last stories are Jude and Cardin um, after the final of the series. So you not only get a view of his past but you're also getting a view of the future after the third book. And spoiler alert, I also read this this month as well. This is also illustrated and my version is the, this is actually the Owlcrate exclusive edition so it's really pretty green foil and is also signed by the lovely Holly Black. So 
and also, also, these end papers. Loving Alcrate's books. So much pretty. Loving them. So, ow. And now that our haul is over, we will go over the books that I read this month. Uh, as always, I just go through, tell you what I read, and if you want to know more about them, I will link the wrap up in the description box below. And also, as always, all of these don't count as coming off my TBR because it really depends on if it's a book that I own or a library book or what the case may be. So just keep an eye on the numbers. In the order that I read them, Beach Read by Emily Henry, Undercover Romance by Lissa K. Adams, Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert, The Christmas Sisters by Sarah Morgan, Wrapped Up for Christmas by Caitlin Duncan, Wrapped Up in You by Talia Hibbert, War Maidens by Kelly Kuhn, King of Elfheim by Holly Black, and The King of Elfheim by Shani Petroff. This what? 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 And My New Crush Gave to Me by Shani Petroff. Did I tell you the starting number? I don't remember. The starting number was 164. It should already be over here, whether I told you or not. It should be right there. So the starting number was 164. I purchased three books and that got us to 167. I then read eight books that count towards coming off the TBR, so that's 159. I did not have any unhauls or DNFs this month, so we stay at 159. Okay, cool. However, as I said, we have to adjust per the actual physical books that I have because I'm bad at math. I actually physically only counted 160 books on my shelves, but per according to both of my spreadsheets, because I double checked them, there was like a whole saga on Instagram if you've seen that. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, it's linked down below. You absolutely can. I have like several Instagram accounts, but you can follow me down there. They're all linked. But I was kind of doing like a, a behind the scenes of, oh my gosh, I can't figure this out. I've come to the conclusion that according to my spreadsheets, I should have 163 books on my physical unread shelves. Now, I can only find 160, but I double checked my list. I triple, quadruple checked my lists. And there's nothing on there that I have unhauled this year or that I have read. So, I'm assuming that I have loaned out books that I've forgotten about and I'm not going to figure it out until I get these books down a little because it's hard to do 160 books without physically pulling each book off of the shelf and matching it up with all of my spreadsheets. So my spreadsheets match. I pulled all of the info in from all of my spreadsheets, put them all together. They all match. They all line up. They all say 163. So I'm going to roll with that because I'm just not... I feel like I must have loaned out some books that I've forgotten about um, and or or maybe I just can't count. I don't know. One of those two things. So our new number going in to 2021 is going to be 163. So technically I only got 30 books off of my TBR this year and I read 111 books. That's depressing. The sad thing is, is I think I unhauled more than 30 books this year. I thought I was doing really good and now I'm not so sure and I kind of want to have a nervous breakdown. Let's not do that. Okay, let's move on. Smile. All right. So that is all I have for today. Let me know in the comments below if you have a massive TBR, physical unread TBR in your house. And also let me know if you are playing any of the TBR games that exist, whether you're doing Balancing the Books or Bookopoly or uh, Wheel of TBR or Scategories or whatever it is. There's so many different things that people are doing um, for TBR games and those are some of my favorite videos to watch. So let me know in the comments below if you're doing any of that because I would love to check it out. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!